Welcome back to Late Night. We're here with John Oliver. Uh, John, I've always appreciated over the years that if you text me about something we've done on the show, it is something yeah. that no one else has liked or commented on. Uh, I, f I felt that way about your long-running Adam Driver bit that, that, <laughs> that came to a wonderful conclusion with Adam yeah. Driver. Yes. Can you just talk us from the beginning of it, the, the seeds of where it started, uh, to the conclusion of getting the real Adam Driver? Yeah, the, the seed, the initial seed was, um, was you know, I, I, one of our writers writing a very weird joke uh, out of absolutely nowhere. And then the water on that seed was, uh, back when we had an audience in March, uh, feeling real resistance from the audience <laughs> at the joke. They, it felt like they about 40% enjoyed it. And it logged in my head of, oh, let, let's, uh, let's try and do this again. So we did it as a callback a few weeks later. And um, they weren't, weren't really happy to have it back. And so at that point, it became something of an obsession in, uh, in, our, in our staff. And uh, a few months into the bit, we kind of, we, we broke it. Uh, one of the writers had written something kind of saying, I don't know if he uh, even, he doesn't seem like he would enjoy this. And we thought that it could be over. Like that was the, that was as much of a ribbon as it felt we could put on. So at that point, we reached out to him and said, "I don't know if you know um, what we've been doing. There's no easy way into this conversation. <laughs> um, we've been making some comments uh, about you, and would you hypothetically uh, be be interested in you know, responding towards the end of the year?" Uh, and <laughs> the message came back from him saying uh, he has heard about it. Um, he thinks it's very strange, and he's in. And so I thought, oh, great. So we didn't know what, what we were going to do, but at least we knew at that point that we had an end in sight. And, yeah, and as it turned out, what the end in sight was, uh, was him uh, calling into the show and uh, explaining the ways in which he was going to demolish me. It was also uh, watching it is a real reminder that Adam Driver is a terrific actor. Un Unbelievably good. I couldn't see him. I was doing it. I, I could only hear him. And it wasn't until I watched it back, you think, oh, <laughs> look at him. Look at him doing acting as I'm giving him nothing back. Like he's literally performing in front of a tennis ball. That's the, that's the equivalent of what he's getting back from me. And yeah, he's doing such, such good acting. At, yeah. In, in, in a point where it really was not required, but he was, he was really, he was really flexing muscles. Yeah, it was a case, and, and I say this as a fan of a fan of yours. When you guys were on the split screen, it was very hard to imagine anyone was watching you. <laughs> I can't be a hundred percent confident it was there. It was every part of that juxtaposition is brutal. Yeah, acting ability, physically, let's not lie. Put those two things together, and it barely seems like the same species. Barely. Um, you, uh, you've come here before. You were on uh, the show before Thanksgiving uh, in the past. Uh, yes. And unfortunately, you can't be here live, so you missed getting to see the tree. I know how you love stuff yeah. like trees. I uh, love Holiday it, yeah. trees. I, what, what, one of the things I like the most, actually, of coming, is that, are you still uh, being tortured by that Christmas music <laughs> round and round of 30 Rock? Is that still going? No, because that was for the oh. ice skating rink. So we're actually, it's not. That's a shame. It's very I always enjoyed the kind of... The, the muffled killing spree music outside of your office for basically three and a half weeks. <laughs> the tree got off to a bad start. Yes. I'm sure you saw this photo. Um, when it went up, it was as though they asked for like a discount tree because no one was coming this year. It looks it's, better now, but I kind of wish. Don't you wish it was a, that? It's a huge mistake. They should, they should have left it like that. I was so happy. When they unveiled it and it just started wilting and stuff fell off, I thought, yes. That's right. Is it, is it the tree we want? No. Is it the tree we deserve? Absolutely. Emphatically, yes, it is. They should have just hung one string with like lights broken. Yeah. Broken or put it right against 30 Rock and like turned it around so you couldn't see the <laughs> side. Or, or just lent it on the ground and put a giant garbage bag <laughs> half around it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that, I, I, I just think that would have been a more fun tree. For, no one wants a good tree right now, yeah. do they? Do people want to live a lie? Come on. Yeah, it was the bad tree year, I agree. Um, congratulate your first Thanksgiving as an American citizen, uh, John. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm assuming it's uh, <laughs> going to be a muted affair. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, there's, there's not much going on. But, I, but as a new American, I'm already just pushing the reality of what Thanksgiving is about further and further down. I'll forget about it next year. <laughs> I expect uh, nothing less from you. Hey, uh, this is uh, no surprise, as always. It's a pleasure talking to you. 
Uh, happy you Thanksgiving. Too. Happy holidays. Thanks for being here, buddy. It's an absolute pleasure. See you soon. Maybe. Yeah. You know, back to the it's going to be a while. I won't see you soon. <laughs>